Okay guys, welcome, this is our last problem on refrigeration, uh, this will be a natural cycle and this time we have a vapor compression refrigeration system that circulates 134A at 6 kilograms per minute and um, the refrigerant enters the compressor at minus 10 degrees and 1.4 bar uh, this different unit we're gonna have just the conversion um, and exits at seven bar. The isentropic compressor efficiency is 67 degrees and 67 percent. We don't have pressure drops and any of the connecting pipes of heat exchangers. And the refrigeration leaves the refrigerant leaves the condenser at seven degrees, seven bar and 24 degrees. We are not, we are going to neglect heat transfer to the compressor on the surroundings. So we are asked to find the coefficient of performance and the refrigeration capacity in tons. So, um, we're going to start by um, drawing uh, our diagram. And this diagram will be my condenser, my um, expansion valve, evaporator, and our compressor. Now this is one, two, three, four. We know here we have pressure of 1.4 bar and uh, temperature is minus 10 degrees and we know that uh, we have 7 bar here and 24 degrees here so uh, we are asked to get the COP and the heat load the system can take okay first of all let's recognize that we have a mass flow rate of six kilograms per minute we can convert to kilograms per second so one minute is 60 seconds so that is 0.1 kilograms per second of refrigerant so in order to compute the COP it's the desired output is a QL because it's a um, refrigeration system divided by the inlet, the work inlet. And we know that side output is mass flow rate H one minus H four while the inlet work is a mass flow rate times H2 since we have an, an isentropic efficiency for the compressor of 0 0.67 we know that we should use actual minus H1 how do we do this? Uh, the isentropic efficiency is 0.67 and it's equal to H2S minus H1, H2 actual minus H1. So we can see that these two we are solved. The only thing that we need to look are for the properties. This time we are not going to um, solve all the properties. We're going to just give the final result for the COP. So that will be the, the your. Um, Clarification. 
Okay. Um, so first state one, and that's a. Uh, let me just make a little state one. Is pressure of one point four bar, and we should know that one bar is. 10 to the 5 pascales so is 10 to 2 kilopascales that mean 100 kilopascales so that means that this pressure is 140 kilopascales and temperature is minus 10 we can check that the saturation temperature for 140 is minus, minus 26 so we know that this is superheated vapor with this we can get H1 and S1 and then for state 2S we can um, we know that the pressure 2 is 7 bar and since we know that each bar is 100 kilopascal we know that this is 700 kilopascal and S2 equal to S1 we solve by interpolation we get H2S and then solve for H2A for H2 actual now we also will know that saturation temperature for 700 kilopascal is uh, 26 so uh, this is so cool state 3 is so cool liquid so H3 is equal to HF at or is approximately equal at 24 degrees and H3 equals H4 this we have everything that we need and a way for you to check if your result is correct the COP should be 3.8 2.10 um, Okay guys, I hope this um, helps you know how to get your um, properties. Thank you.